Hi, my name is Alex. I'm currently 25 this year and a university student. Hi, my name is Lino and I'm 25 this year and I'm also a uni student. In the past, I would say that I'm someone who is quite irritable and someone quite difficult to work with. There was one time in secondary school when I was working on a physics project uh, with my group mates and I. And when we were going to one of our group mates' houses to do the project, what happened was my friends started to fool around and they started to play games instead of working on the project. After some time of trying to convince them, I gave up because it didn't work out. And so what happened was I told them, forget it. And I said that I would just do everything else by myself and just stormed out of my friend's place. So because of that, uh, and probably a few other instances too, I think my friends uh, have found it a little bit difficult to work with me at some times. But um, as I came to learn about Christ, and uh, as I start to learn about faith too, and particularly one story uh, really struck me and stuck with me for some time. And that was the story of how Jesus said that He loved everyone. He loved even His enemies unconditionally. And why that struck with me was because uh, to the point that you could even embrace, understand and even forgive your enemies, I think that's something really hard to do. So after trying to fix my uh, character, my bad habits and trying to change as a person, over a few years I found myself becoming more patient and more understanding. And uh, how I found myself to change uh, was um, a result of me finding myself in positions where I I can't imagine myself to be in when my friends had certain quarrels or disagreements or certain group conflicts. I realized that I became someone who was in a position of mediating those conflicts. And that I think was really shocking, but at the same time, made me think back about how I've grown as a person. And I think looking back, it wouldn't have been possible if I had not learned about faith and if I had not met Christ. I was a stereotypical student who only strive to achieve like the best results so that I get into like Fortune 500 companies. However, no matter how hard I actually tried, I wasn't able to get the results that I actually wanted. And also I wasn't able to achieve the results that I, was, uh, that I set to achieve. And that affected my relationship with God. However, one day, I realized something different. And that was after listening to a sermon. And the sermon was about people who actually love God first. People who actually love God while putting all of their hearts, will and life for Him. People who actually fulfills His purpose first. So through this, I actually came to realize that if God were to actually love people while knowing their value, then I should also know my value. So in this way, I came to realize also how God values us. God values me more than my grades, values me more than my career. So through that, I came to realize how shallow I was in the past. My name is Xing Yi, and I have been in Great Glory Church since I was 14 years old. Before coming to church, I was someone who is really introverted because of my low self-esteem and low self-confidence. So I didn't dare to speak up or initiate conversation with people. When I was in primary school, during recess time, I would actually hide myself in the toilet and was actually alone most of the time. And I only returned to class only when the bell rang. I also, my peers also didn't treat me well either. So I didn't see a purpose in socializing, making friends, or even opening up to others and also caring up for them. However, after coming to church, um, I was surrounded by friends who were really loving and caring towards me. So instead of judging me or looking down on me for my flaws, they never failed to help me and encourage me whenever I face difficulties or have any problems. I remember in secondary three, during my first semester, my AMF was really bad and I failed all my class tests and even my mid-year exam. So this causes me to be really upset and disappointed with myself. I even thought of dropping this subject. However, a church sister of mine actually reached out to me and she was really good at math, so she actually taught me the secret to resolving a math question. She told me that it is okay to make mistakes as long as learn from it and never give up. Eventually, my a math score an A for my final exam, and even my teacher was really impressed and surprised by me. At the time, I realized that it was God who has always been with me, and it was God who worked through my church sister to help me resolve my a math questions. Also, 
Through my sisters and friends in church, I was also able to realize God's unconditional love for me. I was also able to realize how precious I was in God's eyes and also how precious each and every single one of us are in God's eyes, despite all of our flaws and inadequacy.